Hey everyone, it's Lick Friday, week 280. For this one, you are going to need the tab, which is on the website, dansguitar.com, linked up there and down below. And you're also, um, well, you'll need yourself. <laughs> That's it, really, isn't it? Right, okay, this is a lick. There you go, it's a corker of a lick, would you agree? Some do. Cool, well that's pretty good. Um, it's one of, one of them licks where you are really going to need to focus on one thing, one thing only, and that is your picking. Why are you going to work on your picking? Because it is essential to making any lead player or rhythm player sound as good as they possibly can. So, you have a combination of two hands. Those two hands need to coordinate exceptionally well to make this lick work. So you're going to need to tame that distortion sound by muting strings that you're not using. So in this case you're not using the, the strings 6, 5, 4 and 3. So somehow you're going to need to try and find a way with your right hand, your picking hand, to mute those strings because this one's going to be moving along the pentatonics. What shapes are we moving through for this lick? Well, we're moving from shape 2, this is in the key of E minor by the way, two three four five uh back into one and then into two and then you're finishing on the 20th fret in shape three technically because that's what we're doing so it's going to basically teach you how to link through the pentatonics on a, a linear sort of note where you are moving through on one string per time uh, uh, at a time sorry about that sort of round of applause sound up there it's the rain on the shed where I'm working right now. Anyway, so that's by the by. So we've got um, a, a linear pentatonic working through on that one string, and then you're pedaling with a drone, if you like, on the open E string, the uh, top E. So what you're going to be doing is hammering on, and then so you pick, hammer, and then you've got these two pedals on the um, thin string. So it's really difficult to. to try and get that sort of sound well and, and I think if you practice this slowly and evenly you, you'll do really well with it. Um, so the main thing is though if you're using distortion you've got to be able to tame it so you know that's down to you to really try and get to grips with that. Um, I can show you how to do it as I'm going through it in a second but it's just one of those things. It, it does need to be tamed isn't the, otherwise it's the untamed beast and it overpowers. So with that said, if you want the tab, it's on that website, as I said at the beginning of the video. If you want more lessons, which are not available on YouTube, and also jamming tracks, which you won't find on YouTube as well, then you can come and visit me on my Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash dance page. Once again, linked up there and down below. Now, the tab is important, so get that even if you don't visit the Patreon page, um, but every little helps. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Um, and if uh, you know any musical friends out there, guitar -y friends or people that just want to listen to instrumental guitar music, then please send them the way of my channel because obviously all the, that kind of interaction really helps pushing the channel forward and I can't thank you enough for those that do that already. So there we are, let's get on with that breakdown. Okay, so you get this. <laughs> Which is basically um, a pentatonic scale going. And then you're doing on the top of it. Straightforward in theory, isn't it? But to make it really work, you've got to get that coordination. Now, in the demo, if you haven't seen it, then maybe go back and watch it. But it's basically got that going on with your plectrum. So. So that's quite important to get that kind of thing going. Now at the speed it's actually played on the, on the um, uh, MP3, which is linked below by the way, you get that. So it's very much a gallop. I can't even say it. So that's quite important to get that. Now, the way we're gonna do it is you basically play a, a, one note from the pentatonic and then you hammer on to the next. So you get this. 
So that is basically three, five. The only fretted notes are always on that second string. So you've got three, five, hammer, and then two zeros. So, and you could practice that on its own just by just getting as uh, good as you can with it really now what I'm doing with my right hand is I'm sort of resting on the strings slightly palm muting if you like that second string as well so it doesn't ring out when I'm doing the two zeros on that the first string um, so you're making sure that these strings are all muted as much as they can be and they're not going to ring and overpower with that distortion tone um, so you're playing the three five. I'll go back to that again. But three five zero zero. So then it's going to be five eight hammer on second string zero zero. Then it's going to be that shape three. By the way, into shape four you've got eight ten second string two zeros. Then into shape five, which is ten twelve hammer on. Then zero zero on that third uh, thin string sorry then back to shape one which is the almost an octave where we started but so that's you've got 12 15 hammer on then two zeros or you could go it's up to you um and then you end up with the back to where we started but an octave higher so we've got 15 17 hammer on two zeros again and then instead of going 17 20 just going straight to the 20th fret so a bit of vibrato on the first strike and then taking that out so I'll play that for you slow a couple of times just so you can hear it but you end up with this so three four and So it really comes down to coordination, making it work as far as that is concerned. Without good coordination, that lick is not going to work. So please really take care on the um, left and right hand coordinating together. If possible, practice with a metronome or if you're on Patreon system, the Guitar Pro Tab, because that will give you some kind of indication of the speed and you can also use it as a phrase trainer as well on that program but anyways that is it hopefully you've learned that well enough in the sense of putting it into your own plane or that style of lick into your own plane now this particular lick works really well on the E minor because of the open E string so um, to try it in other places is going to be a little bit tricky but you can do similar things where you're using a drone note um, you just have to pick your keys carefully to make it work. So um, if you wanted that tab, it's up there. If you want the Patreon stuff, once again, you can get the Skype lessons, the jamming tracks, lessons not on YouTube. It's all available on both of those um, websites, if uh, it's Patreon and my website itself. Um, please go along, visit, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button and tell all your friends about this channel because if you tell them, I get more people listening. If I get more people listening, that means more lessons coming your way. Win-win. Nice one. Have a good weekend. See you later.